It's a day that high school athletes work their entire lives for, and fans around the country use for off-season bragging rights. National Signing Day. If you win Signing Day, it can be a big source of pride. If you don't, well, you'll certainly hear about it. UTEP has been in the latter group more often than recently. But KTSM 9 Sports Director Colin Deeper joins us now to explain why this year is totally different. Colin. Yeah, Estella, for years, the line about UTEP and the city of El Paso has been that no one wants to come play sports here. But first year head coach Scotty Walden and his staff very quickly have changed that narrative. In just two months, UTEP reeled in the highest rated recruiting class in program history today for that football program. Walden announced a 14 player signing class today made completely of high school players. That comes on top of the 23 players that UTEP signed in the early signing period in December, plus 11 mid year transfers in January for a total of 47 signees in Walden's first class. There's a school record 14 three-star players and UTEP has the best recruiting class in Conference USA according to the recruiting website Rivals. The Miners also signed the top two recruits in program history in Jalen Jones and Martavius Collins. They did it with tireless work by the entire staff the last couple of months. It validates it because of this like growing up in the state of Texas and you know and, and, and recruiting the state of Texas and UTEP not really being prevalent in the high schools and in the recruiting realm, it, it validates it fully that what we're doing, the, the process works and our system works. And, um, you know, we got to keep evolving though, right? I mean, like, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's all about uh, continuing to grow and evolve. And we'll do that from this, but it definitely validates it further and, uh, and uh, really, uh, really cool to see it. And most of the guys UTEP signed in December and January actually are already on campus. Walden thinks a few of them could contribute immediately. Next up for the Miners, spring football, which begins March 18th. Coming up on KTSM 9 News at 6 p.m., we'll take you around the region for some of the day's biggest signings featuring our local high schools. Plus, New Mexico State football celebrated its signing class, and KTSM has contract details for the Aggies' new football coach, Tony Sanchez. Estella, we'll see you at 6. Okay.